Outlast equals Los Angeles, but easier? I was in Los Angeles around three years back. This game is a toned down version of my experience. Outlast? Either, either I'm misremembering Outlast or I'm gravely misremembering Los Angeles. The proper way to play Skyrim. Almost done testing my mods. I'm very excited for my first playthrough. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot there. I'd be a lot more excited to continue playing Skyrim if random crap didn't completely break my saves every time I try. It's really not f***ing fun putting 20 hours into something and then having it break. Ever wanted to go to war with the ocean? 2D, excuse me, Caligula simulator? What the hell are you doing? Over a year of playtime. It's okay. I'm not kidding, how can you play Borderlands 2 for that long? Hell, I don't think I've ever beaten it. And I've played it with friends a lot, man. Are you okay? Oh no, no, they're not okay. Their name is My Dung. What kind of a question is that? Game boo, because not opening. Not opening, you've got 3,000 hours in it. You know, if you have under a certain amount of hours, you should not be allowed to review. If you have over a certain amount of hours, why in the world are you suddenly allowed to say it's bad? Come on, man. Look, I know updates will ruin games, I totally get it, but you know what I'm saying, right? If you put 10,000 hours into a game, you're like, actually, it's bad. I'm like, no, come on. You stayed around for some reason. A mentally ill, bloodless creature flips the plane like a coin in the ruins of California, the Fanta Zone. Good game. It's Metal Gear Rising, but with planes. If you like the color orange, this game is perfect for you. Orange. Ace Combat. Orange. This game may induce extreme depression from the player being reminded that they do not have a tomboy girlfriend and existential fear of the color orange. This game made me fear the color orange. Orange. Florida Simulator. Far Cry 6, really? I was able to send a crocodile out to fight sharks in the open water, and it won. That doesn't sound so bad. Everybody made me think that game was going to be awful. Great game. However, my parents don't love me anymore ever since I bought this game. 10 out of 10. <laughs> okay. War Crimes. PPG People Playground. What the hell is People Playground? The best game to commit war crimes in. Can we retire the war crimes joke? I think, I think it's time to do that, right? I think, can some of us at least agree on that? Same. Your only move is hustle. I'm doing 200 calculations per second and they're all wrong. <laughs> I'm stupid faster. You only played for 33 hours. In Bloons Tower Defense 6 only? Really only? Please help, please. I can't stop. I go to sleep and I hear the noise. I hear the balloons popping. So why don't, why don't you recommend it? I feel like we deserve to know why you didn't like the game. The nutritional facts on a milk carton have a more coherent plot. Dude, it's Final Fantasy, what the hell did you expect? I mean, he's not wrong. Oh boy, it's Source Filmmaker. Team Fortress 2 gay porn. What do you mean he's not wrong? It's not like you open it up and whoop, there it is. He had to make it, okay? He made it, okay? I think GLaDOS wants me. Yeah, wants you dead. Have you not played the game? Hint of the sex update has been revealed. Yeah, oh, uh, oh okay, all right. I think the sex update joke could use a little bit of a break too, you know? <laughs> Where's the sex? In the balls. All right, it's fine because you got the developer in on it. Project Moon tutorials be like, 244 hours on record. I finished the game and still don't understand how the combat system works. How the hell did you make it through the whole game? Subnautica. Oh boy, I've been recommended this game too many times. This might shrimply be one of the greatest games I've ever played. No squid. May seem daunting and confusing at first, or confusing, I don't give a f but isn't too clampicated. If I could forget this game and play it all over again, I would. The atmosphere is tertially immersive and beautiful. The soundtrack is nothing short of resharkable and is very beneficial to the overall feel of the game. This is a must play for anyone who appreciates spectacular game design, shrimply man Fantastic. I will try it at some point, but I've got the lassophobia, so I don't know. Rain World. Oh no, not Rain World. Haha, <laughs> wow, cute slug cat dingy. Oh my gosh, the green one's so adorable. Edit. God has failed me. Yeah, and only you. These are three random ultra kill reviews. 
There are 54,469-ish other positive reviews for the game. All right, let's see what we got. If you can afford Ultra Kill, buy Ultra Kill. If you can't afford Ultra Kill, wait for Ultra Kill to go on sale, then buy Ultra Kill. Overall, buy Ultra Kill. Better than sex. I've never had sex. Ultra Kill is like sex, but better. Okay, but have you had it? I just want to make sure. That's a, that's a big claim. The other guy admitted it. This review for Poppy Playtime. Nobody reads the reviews anyway, so I'll just say I'm gay. <laughs> I think I told you guys I'm in Poppy Playtime, right? And Project Playtime. It's one of my big bragging achievements, you know? I play Leif Pierre. That's right. Get to it. I hope you're doing better now, gamer. I miss her. I'm so sorry. Most normal relationship ever. In VR chat, are you sure? Met my wife on here while drunk three years ago. Hey man, that... Good for you, though. Agreed. Easy. <laughs> yeah, Blender. 100%. Recommended. And so I was playing Muck one time and I enjoyed it. Hence, I left it on my computer till this day. Before the incident. I was sleeping peacefully when Muck blinds me at 3 a.m. at night, suddenly open and ready to play. I was so scared I jumped out of my three-story house into a pool of infested eels and hungry sharks. This problem caused hardship and trauma for myself, and I don't think I'll ever recover for the rest of my life. Good game, though. 10 out of 10. I agree with this review. Cry of fear. Simon can't have sex with the doctor. 0 out of 10. IGN needs more sex. Nah, for real though, I think IGN needs better reviewers. Well, that's good to know. Better working conditions than McDonald's. I love Deep Rock Galactic. I should actually play it a little more. I got caught playing in class because I threw my desk across the room. Sure you did! Not recommended. I'm sexually attracted to cookies. Cookie Clicker has ruined my life. Whenever I clicked on the trailer for this game and I saw this game could be played in many languages, my heart was pumping. How does this cookie know so many languages? I instantly bought the game because knowing languages is extremely attractive. And then I loaded into the game and I was screaming and creaming at the sight of the grandmas. I've now ascended to the cookie world. People probably think, do you leave this game on while you sleep? No. I stay awake watching the cookie jiggle as I caress my mouse. This is not a joke. I can't escape cookies. Every weekend, if I'm not locked in my cage, I bake cookies. And when I'm not baking cookies, I'm playing Cookie Clicker. I can't help it anymore. Someone please send help. Just a few hours of Euro Truck Simulator. I only played it a few hours, and I think it's worth it. Dude, sim games will steal your life, no joke. One of the saddest deaths of all time. Apologies for bad English. Where were you when economy die? I was at house eating Dorito when phone ring. Economy is kill. No. Go to horny jail. Yeah, what the hell? Since nobody reads my reviews, I would probably smash, well, wh whoever that is. I guess this will save a few lives. Wait, what does that say? Hyper Dimension Neptunia Rebirth 1? If you're going to play with the Japanese voices, just make sure you have headphones on. If you're gonna have Neptune as a frontline fighter, especially if your mom is Hispanic and are Catholic, Neptune occasionally sounds as if she's being data expunged when she gets hit. I would be unhappy too. No nude scenes in, what was that, Garfield cart? I heard the game just sucked, but that makes it even worse. Magicka's loading screen must be amazing. 15 hours just spent there. Despite the best efforts of my friends and I, we could not start and run this game at all. We couldn't even get past the loading screen to get into the game itself. The game is broken beyond all belief. Do not waste your money or your time on this disaster of a game. Bro really wants to have sex with Father Gregory. Can't have sex in Ravenholm. Nope, you're wrong. He has nothing to do with Father Gregory. You know exactly who he wants to bang. 30 minutes in, 17%. Still building the shaders. Man, I'm still just so goddamn mad. How do you flub that? Who the hell ported this game? Did Sony do it in-house? Who did it? Because it's embarrassing. I was gonna buy it. Now I'm definitely gonna buy it. Courier gets assaulted by three grannies with switchblades, proceeds to explode them with a laser beam shot from the sky, getting eviscerated in the process. Proceed to use time travel in order to rewind back a few minutes ago. Good summary of the wackiness of this game. Good times. Be prepared to need to download some mods to get this one not to crash every hour. EU4, aka the map watching simulator with a thousand hour tutorial. Excuse me? A what? 1444 hours in. My first meeting of my best friend in Istanbul. 
We were getting to know each other. I asked him where he was from. He said, you would have never of wait, you would have never of heard of it. I said, try me. He said, Adana? I said, oh, that's near Antioch, going towards Syria. His face melted. 10 out of 10 game. This is a game? A map watching simulator? Oh, I need to stay away. The sneaky little hobbits is after our money. <laughs> oh my god, dude. They takes it from us. Precious! Trixie hobbitses! No, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna do that. That that just feels weird to do. They stole our money! Gollum! Gollum. Throw it into the fire. Precious. Smash it with a Roxas. Misery. Misery. Okay, yeah, you get the goddamn points. That game sucked so much. So bad. I'm glad some people found it helpful. This game is severe pain. I cried for the first time in ages. 11 out of 10 would recommend to everyone. Kerbal Space Program. Bob is now going to suffer eternally floating in the void of nothing, an expanse yet to be filled, knowing through all his knowledge that he will never make it back home. Never see his green family again. Never touch green grass. Never feel the touch of his wife. Why must he suffer like this? What transcendent wrongdoing of his has been returned? What god has he insulted? Why? Why? Because Kerbals love space. I think he likes. Oh, Spore. I like it. Stardew Valley Review. I became gay and I love it. Oh, this right here's that liberal agenda. They're coming for us all. Good reviews versus bad reviews on Steam. In Portal Reloaded. Fun. I almost feel bad for leaving a negative review. The developers tried, but the game isn't fun. It isn't like the original. It isn't like the other mods. When you play the original, you at least see things happen and figure it out on the go by just modifying something. Here with the new mechanic, if you make a mistake on the way, you have to reset most of the puzzle. The time traveling mechanic makes the game overly complicated. It is challenging, but it isn't fun. I don't feel like I accomplished something when I complete a puzzle, because I already forgot what I did. Was it solved by logic or by luck? I can't tell. I'm sure that there are players that love the difficulty. Portal Stories is great and really builds up to something. Blah, 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 blah. You nerd! I'd probably agree with you, honestly. I don't even know what this is. So that's where my batteries went. This game made me steal one battery from each remote in my neighbor's house. Steam World Heist. Good art, good music, fun gameplay. You can play it with one hand and jerk off with the other. Everything I look for in a video game. You don't like many games then, do you? It took some time to do it, but he made it. Finally beat Stereo Madness. Damn, needs more men kissing. Still very good. I think you could say that about most games. He does love ice cream. Operation Harsh Doorstop. I love ice cream. Well, good for you. So many choices. Oh, and Pathfinder. Oh boy. At least it's recommended. Your romance options as a straight male are a secret cannibal, an open cannibal, and a former cannibal. Okay. Town of Salem 2. I got suspended already, and the UI is like a Roblox tycoon game. Ooh, that sounds rough. Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Runs like my ass after Taco Bell. You guys know what I say about people that can't handle Taco Bell. History will not remember you. Ah, Geometry Dash again. I'm sure you can tell why I suggest it. Oh my god! Terraria. Or, uh, Terraria, if you're one of those people. I mean, I can't really give a good review on it, as I have yet to finish the game. Really? I'm impressed. You know, I still haven't finished Minecraft, but I can safely say, yeah, it's pretty good. Missed message review. When I launched this game, I was gay. That hasn't changed, but I'm sad now. But how can you be gay? That means happy. I was just about to buy it. Good thing I didn't. Game is free on Epic. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm not downloading that damn thing for anything but Alan Wake 2 at this point, but okay. Oh, it's far too late for you guys now. I'm so sorry. Just wait for the Steam Summer Sale and you can buy Fallout New Vegas Ultimate Edition for four bucks. Who cares? Does this count? Reviews. I like it. From Vine Sauce Vinny. Anton Blast has real Wario Land energy. Destructoid. I made this. Tony Grayson. Studio head at Summit Sphere. I think that counts. I want to know what movies this guy has been watching. This game tickles my brain in ways that not even lesbian cannibal movies can. And that's seriously saying something. Lesbian cannibal movies, <laughs> uh, obviously. 
Not recommended. I spent the past four years studying programming and game development because I wanted to make educational games. Last weekend, when I was only a few months away from my degree and already applying for jobs in game companies, I discovered Frog Fractions. It absolutely stunned me. Everything I wanted to do, Frog Fractions already did. It took the most boring school subjects and made them both fun and relevant. The difficulty curve is perfectly balanced, and the whole thing is tightly held together by an emotional and tear-jerking story. Because Frog Fractions already exists, the world no longer needs any more games, and it no longer needs me. Now, I find myself in a depressed and unmotivated state, barely able to get out of bed each day. I know I should drop my classes and cancel my job interviews, but that takes effort. Thank you, Frog Fractions, for wasting four years of my life and crushing one of my biggest dreams. You wanted to make one singular game? You went through all of this just so you could make one game? Man, get out there, do some! Ah uh, yes, a date sim slash horror game dedicated to girls has the one problem of... No men. F okay. It just works. Me? Is this a bug or a feature? Bethesda? Yes. I cannot wait for Starfield. There are two types of Stellaris players. It's honestly the best empire-building sci-fi game ever made. The combat and graphics may not be number one, but endless story generation and customization have made this game the one I played the most in my life. Well, at this point. Planet Go Boom!